So, today I have a list of things to do. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the list is of things that are in the range I have to do. I have to clean the flue for the wood stove over there. Yep. Yeah. The wood stove has not been burning so good. And I'm not sure if it's due to the quality of the wood as I've gotten into this stretch of the wood pile or the fact that I'm burning it a little lower. But every time I open the doors to put a piece of wood in, there's smoke billowing out, which indicates that the draft is insufficient. And there's several reasons why this may happen. Uh, one of them is the flu may have become blocked <clears throat> with creosote. This chimney tends to shed its creosote and it collects in the bottom of the chimney insert that I put in last year. And that can begin to block the flu. I've got my big boy shoes on and I'm really just putting off starting the flu over there. <clears throat> This is the creosote and soot and whatnot that came out of the flue pipe. One tool that is very useful when Inspecting chimneys, inspecting roofs, uh, trim, anything of that nature, is a pair of binoculars. So I went outside uh, and looked at the chimney cap. When I put in the insert, it came with a cap that has a stainless steel mesh around it. And it looks like there's some schmutz or something up there, possibly blocking it. So, though I don't enjoy the idea, I'm Gonna get myself up on the roof and uh, take a look. And if there is something up there, just uh, take it off. I'm not gonna clean it at this point unless it really looks bad because all that stuff will fall down to the level of the chimney and I'll have to take it apart again to clean it out. So this is just an adventure to try and, this is, this is an adventure just to make sure that the top the cap of the uh, chimney is not blocking the smoke trying to come out. Here's a view from my mailbox just to give you an idea of where the chimney is and how steep that roof is and I'll tell you when you get up there it looks even steeper and taller
Whoa! <laughs> yes! Yeah, this is why I thought this might be necessary. That is almost entirely full. There we go. Look at that. It's almost entirely full of creosote and schmutz that came down. That's a lot of soot. So this thing is done to my satisfaction. Uh, tools are away. I gotta put the ladder away. My hands are wicked dirty. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I checked that because <laughs> that would have caused a problem. So so now I'm good for the rest of the season, I would think. Um, I would like to know why so much creosote built up. This is a different stove from last year, but there are other variables, like we had two, three weeks of really, really cold weather. Uh, there's, I was using, as with every year, I use different wood based on what I find, um, how the stove was burning, how I was using it, uh, all these things come into play, how damp the wood was, you know, last year I actually had rather damp wood, which you would think would yield more creosote, but anyways, this is complete, so that's my day, I hope you enjoyed it more than I did.